Hello and a very good morning to you. You're watching the Morning News Hour. I'm Pratibha Chandran. First up, let's take you to Tamil Nadu where superstar Vijay has made a full-fledged political foray. After launching his political party, Tamiraga Vetri Karagam, in February, the, RT, uh, the actor has now launched the flag of his political party. Let's go across uh, to my colleagues Varshini and Dharini joining us on the broad uh, broadcast. Uh, Dharini, the official flag of the political party of actor Vijay has been launched. Uh, his supporters have also been asked to arrive today is a big day for his political career what's happening there uh, just a few moments back Vijay unveiled the flag of his political party Tamilaga Vetri Kalagam on that side on that side you can see the flag of Tamilaga Vetri Kalagam flying high we can see the colors maroon and yellow uh, the yellow is in between and we also see uh, two elephants uh, you know um, in between the two elephants is Vagai flower. In Tamil, uh, we call it as Vagai flower, which means, uh, you know, uh, the flower means victory. Uh, so, uh, the flag has maroon and yellow uh, featuring two elephants and Vagai flower in between. This is the flag of uh, actor Vijay's political party, Tamilaga Vetri Kalagam. And just few moments back, uh, Vijay himself unveiled. He launched the uh, flag of his uh, political party. Almost uh, two, uh, 250 to 300 functionaries of the party, uh, including district secretaries and uh, you know uh, uh, functionaries from different wings, uh, such as a uh, youth wing, women's wing, uh, students wing, etc. Et they are part of uh, this event. A uh, common public and uh, uh, fans they are not allowed inside the event venue. And uh, uh, Vijay's parents, uh, you know, filmmaker S. A. Chandra Shekhar and Shobha Chandra Shekhar, they are also present uh, in this event. They are in, uh, sitting inside the venue hall. And Vijay is expected to make a speech. Uh, you know, uh, uh, now in some time from. Now, uh, so uh, before uh, unveiling the party's uh, flag, Vijay also, uh, along with his party carder, uh, took an oath. And let me uh, read out uh, the important factors you know, in this oath. It says that, uh, you know, I will act with faith in the Indian constitution and sovereignty. I will safeguard the ideas of unity, brotherhood, religious harmony and equality. I will walk through the paths of democracy, secularism and social justice. I will always work for the people. And it also goes on to say, I will set aside differences based on religion, caste, gender and birth location and create awareness among the public about the same. Uh, I will fight for equal opportunities and equal rights for all. And finally, there is a, a, you know, a mantra which has been noted at the end of the oath. It says all are born equal. Uh, so these are the uh, main pointers from the oath that actor Vijay, along with his party cadre, uh, took uh, you know a while back from you know uh, before, before unveiling the party's uh, flag. So of course, uh, in the oath, we can see some really strong words. He's using words such as uh, uh, you know uh, sovereignty, brotherhood, religious harmony, and equality. And he also says that I will set aside differences based on uh, religion, caste, gender, and birth location, and I will fight for equal opportunities and equal rights for all. Uh, these are the key words from the oath that was taken by actor Vijay and his, uh, you know, uh, party functionaries uh, just a few moments back. And definitely a very big day for actor Vijay and his uh, political party, Tamilaga Vetri Kalagam. Politically talking, uh, this, uh, you know, uh, 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 the ruling GMK in Tamil Nadu, they say that actor Vijay's, uh, you know, political entry will not have any electoral impact on them. They are telling that Vijay may be a superstar, Vijay may have a lot of fandom, but his entry into politics will not have any electoral impact. Because for the past three years, okay. we have delivered good governance to the people of Tamil Nadu. We have introduced a lot of welfare schemes, a social justice welfare schemes. So uh, we are very confident that Vijay will not uh, eat into our votes is what the GMK is believing at the moment. On the contrary, uh, contrary uh, the BJP is telling that uh, Vijay will uh, eat into the votes of both revenue parties, the GMK and the ADMK. Uh, the BJP is uh, you know, strongly believing in this stand. They believe that Vijay is going to vote, uh, eat into the votes of uh, parties, he is going to take away a huge chunk of votes from both DMK and ADMK. We have to wait and see how this political career uh, you know, is going to pan out, Vijay's political career is going to pan out. Uh, in Tamil Nadu, uh, we have the assembly elections coming in the year 2026 and uh, you know, uh, Vijay's party, Tamil Nadu Metri Kalagam, will be for the first time contesting you know, uh, the assembly of Tamil Nadu in 2026. We also have local body elections before that, but uh, it is not very sure if uh, they are going to contest the election or not. But uh, definitely, as I told, on one hand, the BJP believes Vijay will uh, take uh, a major chunk uh, from the Dravidian vote share, uh, both uh, DMK and ADMK. Uh, but the ruling DMK believes otherwise. Let's wait and see how that pans out. And you know, 
we also have to remember that uh, you know Vijay is uh, quitting cinema at the peak of his career. Right now, he's considered to be uh, the superstar of uh, Tamil cinema uh, after Rajinikanth. He's considered to be the superstar. Yes. He is uh, uh, the most uh, uh, you know sought after actor in Tamil film industry at the moment. He has done a lot of films, so he is quitting cinema at the peak of his career and he's entering politics. This must have been a very tough decision for him. A very uh, important thought after you know decision, but he has made okay. this decision. He is right here, here in the stage, unveiling the flag right, of his political party. And we're seeing the party. visuals on the screens as well. Superstar Vijay uh, now launching his political party's flag, and uh, he is also expected to address in a short while. His supporters have come in. We can sense a lot of excitement there on ground as well. Varshini is also joining us. Varshini, the questions remain on what the political leaning will be. Uh, you know, there is a vacuum in the politics of Tamil Nadu for Vijay's party to make a foray. Is it going to be uh, eating into the DMK votes? Is it going to be eating into the AI? ADMK vote? Uh, is it going to dent the BJP's prospects? These questions still remain. But what's happening on ground? Because uh, we can see a lot of excitement there. Supporters have come in. Is Vijay expected to speak shortly? Uh, we understand that there's a rally as well that has been planned. Okay, Vashri, we'll just come back to you in a moment. We have Salem Dharanidharan also joining us on the broadcast. Mr. Salem Dharanidharan, you know, there are members of Vijay's party who continue to say that Tamil Nadu is looking for a change. Is Vijay's party going to be a threat to the DMK? Ma'am, uh, good morning. Good morning to you and your viewers. In a democratic country, anyone is allowed to start a political party. And, and I think that's the beauty of... Uh, of the of democracy, and in, and and then in fact, if look, leaders also have congratulated when he started the party, many DMK leaders. Mm. So and we are not threatened. You no, know? DMK the party has been there since 1949, and we we've been uh, even today we've been the, uh, we've been very relevant, and that's because we have a very strong ideology that that is uh, to uplift all. And as a, uh, our chief minister MK Stalin has taken Tamil Nadu to greater heights. And people are very happy. So I do not see that why DMK as a party should be nervous. Okay, all right. So you welcome his entry because Vijay is somebody who is known to be a superstar in Tamil Nadu. He turns out 1,000 crore blockbusters. Uh, he has fans across Tamil Nadu as well. He is now making his foray into politics and he has spoken of, a, of big changes on the ground. No, 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 I'm saying we welcome anyone's entry. It's a, that, that's the beauty of democracy, you know. In democracy, there has to be competition. Anyone can contest the election. If you look even in a parliament election, every constituency there are about 20, 25 people contesting. Maybe half a dozen of people contest as independents. So that's democracy. You can't stop anyone. In fact, you shouldn't also be. How much of people come, they should come. They all should be welcomed. That's what uh, uh, we are trying to tell. Okay. And I think, see, right now it's all too early. Right? The, the elections is... Uh, is one and a half years away, more than a year, 18 months away. We we have to see how he performs. We don't know his ideology in a lot of issues. So, uh, time can time only tell. Okay, okay, time will tell. Mr. Salem Dharani Dharan, thank you for joining us. We have Kovai Satyan as well as Narayan Tirupati also joining us on the broadcast. Mr. Narayan Tirupati, uh, there's a vacuum in Tamil Nadu. It's always been the DMK and the AIA DMK. The BJP wanted to uh, get into that space in Tamil Nadu politics. Do you think Vijay's party making its foray, what is the impact that it is going to have in the electoral politics of Tamil Nadu? See, first of all, uh, anyone has got the right to launch their party, launch their flag, etc. But in the last uh, few years, uh, we have grown uh, lip and bonds, and uh, we have done, we have shown that BJP has grown in Tamil Nadu. We have taken around 12% uh, individually and 18% uh, uh, share of votes in, in uh, Alliance. So, but we don't uh, see anyone as a competitor. We are growing. 
we are in the minds of the people so we are not worried about other parties in fact uh, in democracy anyone has got the right to do it so let this way they do it what is there nothing wrong in it okay so you welcome <coughs> him uh, and his foray into politics Excuse me. No, excuse me. Yes. Okay. All right. Listen, Arun Tirpati, thank you for joining us. Kobe Satyan of the AIADMQ also with us. Uh, which side of the political spectrum Vijay will be on is not known yet, but he's seen as somebody who will be anti-DMK and anti-BJP. In fact, though official word has not come in yet, there are indications that he may be more inclined towards the AIADMK. How do you look at Vijay's entry into politics? We welcome him. Uh, and we wish him uh, good luck and best wishes in his political endeavors. He is he is arrival to political spectrum has sent some mixed signals and shock waves to mm. DMK because in the name of democracy, what's happening in DMK is they're under dynast rule, while the prince Udayniti is all set to take over the crown mm. from his father. He is from the movie world, from Tollywood. Vijay is also from the Tollywood. Yes. So the first. Natural comparison shall be Uday Nidhi versus Vijay. Wherein Mr. Vijay has Vijay has a very clear edge and lead. He is a mass hero among the youngsters mm. in the minds of the people. So this has sent really shock waves, shock signals in DMK. Okay. So they are trying their level best not to let him grow through their means through their media channels. We welcome him and we wish him good luck. Still long way to go. Okay. All right. Let's Mr. Govind Sathya. Let's hope that he also adds values to the party. Okay, all right. Uh, this comes ahead of the assembly elections. Two years to go, yes, but he did mention that after Lok Sabha elections, he will be making a big political plunge. Thank you for joining us. Uh, the political party is called Tamiraga Vetri Karagam. He is, in fact, addressing the crowd as well. Let's cut across. <laughs> அன்னிலந்தே பாத்திக்கு நான் ஒரு குறுப்பிட்ட ஒரு நால்காக நீங்கள் அருமே வேட் பணிக்கிறீர்கள் என்று நீங்கள் அல்லாக தெரிந்துது Yes, yes, நம்ம முதல் மானில மானாடு Happy day for all of us. I started my political journey by announcing the party, you know, launch in February. You all have been waiting for an official day which is today. நீங்கள் அருமே கொண்டாடி மகிவுதருக்காக I started my political journey uh, by announcing the launch of my political party in February. Our first mega state conclave is soon going to happen. Preparations are underway. We will soon have a mega conclave, first mega conclave. I'm very happy. I cannot express the amount of happiness that I'm going through at this moment. I feel very proud to unveil my party's flag in front of you know uh, all the people of Tamil Nadu, for all the people of Tamil Nadu. It is a very proud moment for me. I feel very proud to do this. It is also a very happy moment. So, in the future, when I will, uh, uh, you know, release the vision and, you know, uh, mission, the principles of the party, the fundamental principles of the party, when that will be, uh, you know, uh, put out, I will explain the meaning for this uh, flag. There is a very, uh, you know, strong meaning, and I will explain the meaning of this uh, flag. I will uh, dissect the meaning of this uh, flag to you all when I reveal the party's fundamental principles and uh, a mission. We have worked so much for ourselves these days. Uh, moving forward, we will work for the state, our people and their development. We will soon explain our ideology, our stand and the reason behind the flag and its components.
That's the live address by actor Vijay. Political commentator JVC Shriram is also joining us on the broadcast to get a better understanding of how this is going to play out on the ground. There's a lot of hype around it. Vijay's party is called Tamiraga Vetri Karagam. Uh, it was launched in February and now the party's flag being unveiled as well. Uh, JVC Shriram, thank you for joining us. Uh, actors making their foray into politics is not really new to Tamil Nadu from MGR to Karunanidhi, Jailalitha, um, Vijay Kant. More recently, we also had brief political stints from Rajni Kant as well as Kamal Hassan. Some have been very, very successful, some not so much. How do you see Vijay's foray into Tamil Nadu politics? He's been a superstar in movies, but can he be a superstar in politics? Uh, good morning uh, to the viewers and you. And most importantly, what we need to understand is that the success of MGR and probably Jailalitha, because Jailalitha inherited a party organization which was already founded by MGR. After that, the success of film stars in Tamil uh, politics is much, much lesser. I can give you one important reason for this. Uh, neither Vijay Kant nor Kamal Hassan Rajinikanth did not take off at all, including Seeman, who is also from the uh, Tamil film industry. All of them had one unique thing. But for a brief stint for Vijay Kant, none of them were able to attract politicians from the existing parties to join them. Vijay Kant had some traction. But apart from that, none of them had that ability to attract floor level field level, ground level, political leaders at the district level to join them. Now, can Vijay do that? Because there is a vacuum in Tamil Nadu with the demise of uh, Jailalitha and Mr. Karunanadi. There is obviously a political vacuum. But that vacuum to be filled up, you cannot just be relying upon your uh, Hollywood star status to get political traction. You need to have serious politicians joining you. And now there is an opportunity for it. When I say there is an opportunity for it, EIA DMK has been quietly declining from 2017 onwards. Election after election, their share, vote share has been declining. As a result of which, what could happen is some of the second and third level rung leaders from AIA DMK could actually find themselves in the Vijay's party, which could actually boost his prospects. And then, because these people have always uh, been, you know, under a film star, either it was uh, MGR or Jailalitha. So they would be very comfortable working under actor Vijay. And then what would happen is that a section of AIA DMK votes and obviously minorities, uh, young minorities, I'm talking about the youth and also the sections of Dalit population would be attracted towards Vijay's party, which obviously means that it would dent DMK's prospects. So as a result of which the two parties or even three parties which would actually get nervous are DMK because of the uh, minority votes moving away from them towards the Vijay mm. and number two AIA DMK because there is no star there anymore and there is no youth level leader there uh, and number three would be Nam Tamil Rikachi Seeman because Seeman has been attracting a lot of anti DMK and anti ADMK votes and most of them are first time or second time voters and they would also navigate towards Vijay as a result of which this is going to be an important and significant development in Tamil Nadu's politics. Uh, would you, If you ask me if BJP is going to get affected, I don't think so. Because okay. BJP's vote base is just 11%. Yes. And I don't think minorities are, you know, the uh, you know major AC are hmm. voting for BJP. Okay, all right. And, uh, you know, it has happened in Tamil Nadu before that some of these stars have cult-like status in movies, but not so much in the political space. But Vijay believes that his fan base is very, very different and uh, his fan groups work very di exactly like political parties. And that's the reason why there could be a change on ground. Lots more to speak about. JVC Shriram, request you to stay on with us. We're slipping into a very quick break here. We'll be right back to stay with us.